Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Equator. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. In this video, we are going to get started with this Casio FX991 ES Plus second edition calculator. Let's get started with this. Casio recently released the second edition, which previously we had this 991 ES Plus. Do not worry about the C, this refers to Canadian version, which makes only the default settings difference. Everything else is exactly the same. I'm going to cover every feature of this calculator, so the video is very long, but bear with me if you want to learn and get using this one. I've spent a lot of time preparing this material for this tutorial, and I will try to give you example for each feature. I will have separate videos for those features that need multiple examples so you understand it better. The calculator comes with this protective case, the same as the older version. The case is exactly the same with the features here. Also, as you can see, the shape and the color has changed significantly. Let's have a look at the keys. All the keys that we have here, the one label here on top, for example, this key is opening parenthesis, and it has a second label, which is percent, for example. And for all the keys, that you see the yellowish color, you need to press shift. When you press shift, all the keys will go to the function that is assigned to them. For example, this key is eight. If I press shift, it will be conv, whatever is the job of that, which I'm going to explain them. We have some keys with the, this purple red color here. All of these will be activated when you press alpha. When you press alpha, they will be activated. We have the most important key here, all clear and then off. To turn it on, we press this key on. And to turn it off, as you can see, off is here a second function. And I have to press shift, press shift and off, and it will be turned off. And if you leave the calculator on for 10 minutes, it will be automatically turned off. In this calculator, if you press mode, you will see this screen, which has tons of features. To do normal operation, computation, just press 1, you will exit, and this is where we use in this tutorial, unless I sh shift or switch. If I press mode again, this is for statistics. All statistics will be under this. Equation is for cubic, quadratic equation, solver, system of equation of two or three equation, table of values. You can evaluate functions, one or two function with different values and then complex calculation based in binary decimal, hexadecimal, matrix calculation, addition, subtraction, inverse, determinant, and many other features, vector calculation. And here we can have calculation for inequality, verify some values based on certain condition, if it is greater, smaller, less than some value, and then we can do the distribution. We have these four arrow keys, up, down, left, right, and this acts as a cursor. When you do operations, you can move the cursor up and down, which we don't have anything here. And for simple operation, you will do it exactly the same way as the book. So every time if I press some key that is different, I will mention 5 plus 2 times 3, and I press equal. We get the answer in here. 8 divided by 3. For decimal point, we are using this, 0.6. And the answer will be displayed like that. If you get, if you get the answer like this, I'm going to show you next how to replace it. So now it shows like this. And now let's see if you have something like this. Open a parenthesis 3 times 2. Close it. Open and closing are these. Plus 8. Plus 7 times 100. So the order of operation here matters. Multiplication and division are performed first, and then addition and subtraction. In this case, 8, 7 times 100 is performed here, and 3 times 2, the result will be added together. And if you need to enter the negative sign, 9 times, open a parenthesis, minus 2, then close it, divided by open a parenthesis and then minus 3.6. So this is for giving sign to a number. And that's the answer. So you can skip the final parenthesis like this, 3 plus 2 um, minus 
plus 10, and you don't have to close it, just press equal, it will work. And now we have 9 here, and if I press all clear, it disappears. But if I press this answer key, I can get that back, and then press equal, you will get it. And if you do 8 divided by 3.6, you can press this delete to delete the last digit and go back as, man, as many steps as you want. And let's say you want to do 8 divided by 3.6 times 45 and suddenly you realize that you want to add plus 33. So we will use this insert. Now go with the cursor to where you want in here and then press shift insert and now the cursor changed so you can say plus 33 and the previous value will be kept press equal and that's a calculation so this is our value of this calculation but if you want the previous value we can have previous answer you can do this alpha and then this pre answer here the red the purple and if i press equal it gives me the 18, not the previous step. So this is two steps back. And if you want to enter a value like that, so that's very simple. We just put 6 and then this uh, sign and then 8. And uh, that's our value. And then for the max mode, we press 3 and then shift. And then this button for the max mode. And then 6, 6 and with the arrow come to the bottom and press 8. If I press equal, that's a simplified improper fraction and this is a decimal and if you want to do something like this 1 over 5 1 we can press this button and it goes down and press 5 and if you want to add it just come with an arrow to the right and then 1 over 12 And to do this calculation, we do 1 over 5, and then with the arrow, come to the right, put plus, and then 1 over 12, and then press equal, and it will be simplified. To get the actual value, just press this button, decimal, it can give you the decimal value. If you want to do 3.75, and you want to get it in terms of, in terms of proper and improper fractions, here, 3.75. And if I do it, it is like this. But we have this improper and proper fraction, which you press with a shift. If I press shift and then this, it will give me. And if I do this, it gives me. If you press shift and then setup, we see math IO. We press 1. And here it says math 0, 1. In this case, let's see, 1 divided by 200, it gives you the value like this. To change it, of course, you can press this button to get decimal. But if you want always, for example, to show in terms of decimal format, so here is what you do. Let's go to Shift and Setup and select Math. After that, select line 0, 2. And the value, if we now do 1 divided by 200, we get decimal. But there is a condition that we must be in the norm 2 mode. And if I go here, shift setup, and do, go to normal 8, and if I select 1, and then do this, you will get like this. So it will not work. Make sure to put it in 8 and the normal 2. And if we go to normal 1, 8, and then 1, 1 divided by 200, we will get like that. And if we go back to normal 2, 8, 2, we will get decimal. Then line I.O., if we go setup number 2, line I.O., now let's try 1 divided by 200 it will be shown like that and the fraction which you are seeing like this so this button will not work standard and decimal to see it and if you want to send set a degree radian and gradient 
we press shift setup and here degree for degree press 3 for radian press 4 and for grad press 5 and if I press 4 you will see R will be displayed here and we know that this is now set in radian and if you want to set significant digits go press go to setup and then SCI 7 and here you can set select number of significant digits for example 3 now in this case any number you will have we will have significant digits but if you want to get and you will see significant digit is shown here so go get out of this scientific notation press again go to the setup go to 8 normal and select 1 and the scientific notation will disappear we can select the fraction in terms of max fraction or the improper fraction we can go to setup from this arrow it tells us that we have more and on this screen we can select mixed or improper fraction by pressing 1 or 2 if I press 1 and if I do now 1 divided by 200 if it is possible it goes to the improper fraction in some countries you need to display dot or comma for this to change that press shift setup go to the next screen and here it select 7 and here it says dot or comma and if you want comma 2 then it will be displayed like this to change it back let's go and change it 7 and then go 1 if you want dot if you do 47 divided by 9 you will see that it is displayed like that but if you want to do the recurring decimal go to the setup and here RDEC press 6 and then we say on and then 47 divided by 9 and it will show it like this with reoccurring decimal place by this bar at the top this shows that we have continuously choose here go to the setup and then math 1 and then 1 and this works only when you have this math 1 and then 1 selected otherwise you will not be able to see it how we can set screen contrast go to the setup next screen and then contrast 8 so we can use this two arrow to increase the contrast like this and decrease it like that very light we want to clear the memory or these settings we can do this clear by pressing shift and 9 so if I press shift 9 it says what do you want to clear 1 the setup all the settings to the memory or three both of these so let's press three and then yes for equal and then for cancel all clear I'm pressing yes and then press all clear everything have been cleared now let's see how we can do four squared four and then four squared we have a button just press it and that's our value if you want four squared plus one four then we press this squared and then we type 2 plus 1 and that's the value if you want to do minus 2 squared then you have to put a parenthesis and then minus 2 close and squared if you don't put it you get the wrong value and if you want to do 5 to the power 4.3 you do it like this for constants such as pi and uh, Euler number pi is located here and Euler number is located here pi will be activated by pressing shift with this key and Euler is activates will activate it with alpha so let me press shift pi and that is the pi if I press alpha on the same button it will be the Euler constant and we can do fixed number of digits let's say for financial calculation you want to display on the screen just two decimal place in that case we go to shift setup fixed number six and it says how many digits you want two and every time you do it it will be displayed like that and if you want to enter a value like this we enter 1.97 and for scientific notation times 10 
to the power you just press one button and it includes times 10 and the power so all in one like that and just enter minus 3 for example we press this minus and 3 if I press equal sign that's the value we can change it back to fraction and if you want to do scientific notation in your calculation continuously to be displayed for example if you enter 1.97 for times 10 to the power we use this one which has three buttons in one times and 10 and power so it makes it three steps less times 10 to the power I'm using minus and then four if I press it this will be the value but if you want to display it like that then we have to be in normal one go to setup and then eight and then select one now all your calculation one divided by 200 will be displayed in scientific notation to go back back shift eight and then two it will be displayed like this for the cube we have here a dedicated button with shift for example 10 cubed and that's our value if you want to do 10 to the power minus 2 you do this 10 to the power minus 2 as you can see we are now in line mode and we cannot enter it so we have to go to setup and then math mode and then 2 and then now 10 to the power minus 2 we can enter it and if you have order number to the power something because we it's used a lot we have a dedicated button for that so press shift and e and you will see 4.12 directly you can enter it like that to do the square root i'm pressing all clear just press this and 25 for cube we have a dedicated button here with shift it is already cubed one two seven and uh, here is the answer and if you want fifth root then we use this button with shift with this and then enter here five and then one and then come with the arrow on this side one eight seven and if you do, if you want to do something like that press this square root and then press the fraction and then 2.5 with the arrow come down sign of 25 degrees and then close it press equal it and it shows the calculation result this is the log and then 41 you don't have to close the parenthesis it gives you the answer and if you want to do log base 2 of 18 this was log base 10 by default we don't enter 10 so log base 2 we press this button here and enter 2 with the arrow go to the right 1 8 equal and it is done and if you have natural logarithm of some value we have ln here and then 41.65 equal that's the answer but if you have calculation you must close it and do the calculation now let's see the inverse if you have 5 to the power minus 1 you enter 5 and then button directly will make it 5.1 to the power you just if you want just enter 5 and then press this it will be directly to the power negative 1 and you can do it with your cal calculation which is the same as 1 over 5 and if you want in terms of engineering let's say 1 divided by 200 and if you want it in engineering press this ENG button here and it shows you also in scientific notation if you want to just change it this press shift and then this arrow at the same shift with engineering it will change the, decim the, the decimal places for significant digit and then press it again it will bring it and it makes it larger and press shift will go back so this is very nice way to arrange the significant digits of some value now let's say angle unit if you want to convert 45 degrees to radian first we have to be in radian if not press shift setup for radian because this is the final result we must be in radian and then 45 after that i'm pressing shift and then drg here this drg means degree radian gradient and here it says what is your value because it is degree i'm pressing one for degree 
and degree to radian if this is the radian value and we want it 300 radian to degree first B in degree press shift set up go degree number 3 and then 300 shift DRG and select 2 radian 300 radian in degree press equal and that is in degree uh, take the cosine of 8.3 degrees first we have to be in degree if not press go set up and then 3 degree and then press cosine of 8.3 and then equal and that's the value sine of 42 sine 42 that's our value and then if you have sine of pi over 2 in terms of radian first be in radian press shift setup for radian and then sine of pi over 2 so we can press shift pi divided by 2 or you can do it like this shift pi over 2 and then come to the right close it 1 and let's say you have sine of some angle is equal 0 0.8 and you want to find the actual angle we have sine of theta is 0 0.8 from this theta but we want to find the theta or cosine of this angle is minus 0 0.5 to do that we do it like this shift and then sine you see sine negative this key is inverse sine inverse cosine and inverse tangent and then 0 0.8 and then close it because we are in radian we got radian let's go to degree 3 and the angle is 53 and the same way cosine of negative 0 0.5 shift cosine negative 0 0.5 close it and the angle is 120 degrees and if you want to do the hyperbolic functions of sine hyperbolic cosine and tangent hyperbolic for example sine hyperbolic of 5.3 this is hyperbolic we press it and then select the value sine hyperbolic is 1 and then 5.3 equal that's the answer and if you want inverse we have inverse of sine hyperbolic inverse cosine hyperbolic and inverse tan hyperbolic and on the same screen we can access it for example inverse sine hyperbolic just press hype and then select four inverse hy sine hyperbolic and if i enter 100 and that's the value percentage questions will be asked three ways the first way would be what is 30 percent of 5000 and that's the most common way people will ask but there are two other ways which i'm going to show you first let's solve this so you will enter 5000 times 30 and for percent this is a percentage key you will press shift and this key it will be percentage shift percent when you see percentage on the screen i'm pressing equal sign and the answer is 1500 but the question will be also asked if you don't know the above so the question will be like this 1500 is what percent of 5000 in this case the question will be 30 but we have to be able to find it and the third way would be 1500 is 30 percent of what value this is referring to the 5000 in this case you don't know the 5000 and the question will be like this 1500 is what percent of 5000 in this case we have to do this calculation 1500 times 100 divided by 5000 all clear and press this 1500 times 100 and then with arrow go to the denominator and enter 5000 and it will give you 30 that is the 30 percent that we solved in the previous question and the third way is 1500 is 30 percent of what value now let's see how we can add tax or add some value to an amount for example 1500 euro is price of something or you want to add 30 percent to 1500 to do that we we type 1500 plus 1500 times 30 shift percent this is the 30 percent of 1500 and we are just adding it to the 1500 which is 1950 and let's say you want to do a sixth decimal or degree minute seconds conversion 
for degree we can have we can use this button in this order degree minute and second for example let's see how we can do this 5 degrees 18 minutes and 35 seconds into decimal so 5 we press this button it brings degree 18 do not worry again it brings degree and then 35 again it brings degree you must enter the, the last degree and press equal sign you will see it here and if I press this button it will convert it to actual fraction and decimal and let's say you want to convert 25 minute and 36 second to decimal for because we don't have degree here we must enter degree in terms of 0 and then 25 and 36 you see we got error because I did not press it for the last one you must have it and then you can convert it to decimal value and if you have 9 degrees and 18 seconds you see minute is missing the same way 9 degrees 0 minute and 18 second then you can do it you can do also addition if you want to add or subtract or do something with this calculator we also we can have table of value of two functions and we can compare them for example you can have by pressing mode button and table number seven this tells us f of x so let's enter some value exactly like the math let's say two and then alpha x i'm pressing alpha on this x squared plus five alpha x plus two and then press equal sign it asks for the other function g of x and uh, let's say x squared plus six x and that's it equal and it says what is the start value to evaluate with a function let's say start with three and end with seven and step every step one or two i have separate example for this check that video but i'm going to go quickly here and here is the value well, this is the iteration number it goes how many iteration we went through and this is our x value because we started because we started with three five and every step was two so three was substituted in x and that's the value three was substituted in y and g of x and that's the value you bring the cursor to the left and right you will see it here because sometimes this might be decimal value and you want to see proper uh, absolute value in terms of fraction you can see it here by bringing the cursor on each cell the setup go to shift setup and then go to the next screen and you see here table 5 and if you want to see just f of x press 1 and if you if you want to see f of x and g of x press 2 so we can select it from here I'm just pressing all clear and then to exit uh, to exit press mode and then one now let's see how we can do polynomial and we find the roots of these values uh, we will be using the Muhammad bin Musa al Khawarazmi's formula which is also called quadratic formula this is the formula In our calculator we can just easily use it because it is already embedded here for that I'm pressing for that I'm pressing the mode and then go to five equation and then because we want to do the equal zero these two number three and number four has zeros and to the power two that's quadratic so ax squared plus bx plus c so we can select number three for quadratic and then here we have a b and c and these are the coefficient of the value i'm pressing one for the x and then coefficient of this is also one and then the last one is minus six press this minus and six press equal and when i press equal it says the solution x is equal to and i can press equal sign or you can go to here two it, sh it shows three and you can see this arrow shows we can go up and down if i go go down x minimum value shows to be minus 0 0.5 that makes it very nice and y value minimum is minus 6.25 on the same screen and if you have something like this you can press equal sign return back to the screen and for this we can enter it like that so x is equal a is equal 5 the coefficient of a b is equal 2 and 
Remember, we have c is equal to 0, so I have to enter 0. And then that's my value. I can see decimal or fraction. And then x2 is 0, minimum x and y minimum values. Green. And if I enter 6, 3, 9, as you can see, if we have uh, imaginary value, you can see it here, minus 1 over 4, that's a real portion, plus 1.19i, that's an imaginary. If you want to see it properly, press this shift, you will see real and imaginary. And now let's see how we can do system of equations. For example, you have two equations and two variables x and y, and you want to find the value of x and y that makes these equations true. Press mode, 5 table, and then here ax a and x plus b and, a, b and y equals cn. I'm pressing 1. And we have two uh, row here ready. So a1, because that's equation 1, that's a. a1 is 2. b1 is 4. And c1 is 10. When I press it, every time I press equal sign, it goes to the next screen. a1 is 1. I'm pressing equal b2 is 6, I'm pressing equal, and then c2 is minus 3, press minus 3 and then equal, and then press equal, it will give you x is 9, and y is minus 2. The same way you can do system of equation with 3, in this case, a1 is 1, b1 is 5, c1, and then we have d, and the same thing for the second equation, and then we have for the third equation, make sure to enter 0. And let's see how we can use memory. We have variable memories, which are called A, B, C, D, X, and Y. And these are the letters that are shown here. We have A, B, C, D, E, F, X, and Y. And the color is like purple or red, which we can access it by pressing the alpha key. And then we have independent memory M, which is this red M here. And then we have this STO for store and recall to recall the memory. To store it, we press shift for STO, that shift. And for recall, we just press this recall and the key. Let's say you want to store 3 into A. I'm pressing 3 and then shift store A. Now it says A is 3 is stored in A. And B, let's say you want to store 40, shift store B. And you want to store 10 in D, shift, shift store D. And let's say store X, 12 in X, shift store X. Now we can do now operation. We can recall them at any moment by pressing recall A. It will bring it, recall B, recall B, bring it. You can see it on the screen or press this arrow and to do other calculation that you have. And let's say you can do 2b plus a over 3, 2 recall b plus recall a divided by 3, I'm doing divide, come to the right, minus d2x minus recall d minus recall d times 2 and then recall x. And this is the result of calculation. Now let's see the independent memory calculation. In this case, we have, for example, 2 times 3 plus 6, 2 times 3 plus 6. Pay attention, we don't have m. If I press this m plus, this has been added and m appeared. Now we have, if I press all clear, the m has a value. I can press recall m and we can see m is equal 18. And we can add this on top of the result, 8 times 200, and then press this M plus, and it has been added. If I recall it, there was 18, so 18 has been added. And now let's see if we want to do this calculation and subtract it from memory, 1.56 minus 456 times 65. And then the result of this subtracted from memory, just press shift and then m minus because this is a second function and it has been subtracted if you want to clear this this memory just press zero and then shift store 
and then press M, zero is into M, and M disappeared. To clear all the memories, for example, A, B, and C, then we use the shift and then clear this CLR here. Shift, clear. It says you want to clear the setup memory or all. Let's say press three, press just memory number two. Now press equal yes, and then all clear. The memory have been cleared. If I go to A, it's zero. Factorial is when you when, when we say four factorial factorial calculation, it means one times two times three times four. So if we have here fifty, it will be up to fifty. All the values will. And here is a function with a shift. So we put number four and then shift factorial, and the sign is here, and this is the result. Let's see how we can do the by uh, the polar and rectangular conversion. You have a point here in terms of r and theta or in terms of x and y and we can convert it this x and y is rectangular or sometimes they call it cartesian and this is polar or sometimes they call it vector format we have r is equal 6 and theta is this theta is 36.8 we want to find x and y for that because we want x and y we want rectangular and we have two button here it says pole here that's for polar and this is for rectangle. Whatever value you want, that's the answer or final result. Now I want it in X and Y, that is rectangle. So I'm pressing shift and this key. Shift this key and enter R equals six. And then I'm pressing shift comma and then 36.8 degrees, 36.8. Make sure it is degree. If not, just press setup and here select three degree. So it is degree and we can press equal without closing the parenthesis. X is 4.8 and Y shows here. We can go to the arrow to the right to see Y. Or you can press all clear and then recall X. It will give you the X. And if you press recall and then Y, it will give you the y value. It is stored all the time there. And let's say you have x is 4, y is minus 5. If we want to find r and theta. In this case, we want polar. So shift pole and x is 4. Shift comma. Y is minus. Y is minus 5. Minus 5. Close. It shows r is equal 6.4 and theta i can come to this side and it shows minus 51 and as you can see it shows below the line that's why it is minus the same way you can press recall x and that is our r and recall y that is the angle theta and if you divide 10 by 3 you will see this recurring number you can set it so you can just pressing shift setup next screen and here it says or this number six and if you turn it on what happens is 10 divided by three if you press this you will see it displayed with this bar meaning that this three is reoccurring continuously with this calculator we can do unit conversions there are certain values already preset here in the cover of the calculator for example into centimeter centimeter to inch kilometer mile uh, Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius, and pressure, meter per hour, kilometer per second, and all those units, you can convert joule to calorie and all of this, but you have to refer to this, and in front of each, we have a number here, including the 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, so we can do that. For example, here, if you want to convert 84 inch to centimeter, inch to centimeter is 0, 1. And the same way degree Fahrenheit to Celsius, Celsius to Fahrenheit is 38 and kilometer to mile for example is 08 to convert inch to centimeter we will enter 01 let's see we enter our 84 and then shift convert this 8 here that's for conversion and then the number 01 so inch is converted to centimeter and if you want to convert 28 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. The number is 38 here on this. So enter 28, shift, convert, 38. So degrees Celsius, Fahrenheit, Celsius to Fahrenheit, and that's uh, your Fahrenheit value. And if 138, 
shift convert 08 kilometer to mile and that's a value so this calculator has tons of constant here mass of electron proton uh, newton constant a lot of other different constants boltzmann constant atmospheric constant and so forth so we can look at them and use them here for example if you want to get mass of proton press shift and then this constant c o n s t or press 7 and it will ask you for the number 0 1 and this is the mass of proton and if you want to use it in your calculation just continue after that multiply by 6 whatever number and you can continue doing that let's say faraday constant is 22 shift constant 22 and that's a faraday constant and so forth if you want to do the modulus modulus is the remainder of a division when you divide 5 by 3 if you in terms of whole number you have a remainder of 2 to get that we can use this calculator by pressing we can do this by typing 5 and then by pressing alpha and this division and r and it says and then enter 3 in this case it means 5 modulus 3 and the answer is r is equal to that's the remainder but also it gives you the whole number and if you multiply 1 by 3 will be 3 plus 2 is 5 and here modulus of 147 so modulo 147 divided by 3 147 alpha r 60 and the answer is r is 27 the modulus 27 let's see how we can do the permutation and combination so the the permutation is n p r and the combination is not repeated so you pick 6 out of 49 balls this is in many cases you have seen it in lottery to do that to find the chances of winning we use these two buttons here ncr and npr with shift the combination we use ncr now type 49 shift ncr and you can see choose 6 and it is 13 million 13.9 million and the chances of winning if you pick 6 out of 49 and for permutation the same way if you do 49 shift in this one in NPR so pick 6 as you can see this is huge because we are allowing repetition here and if you want to do prime factorization let's say 42 we type 42 press equal sign you have to press equal after that shift f a c t here this button and it will give you 2 times 3 times 7 is 42 and for summation you can also do the summation of this value for example this is our your equation and x from 0 to 4 you want to add them together and in this case when x is 0 we put all 0 and then x equal 1 and 2 3 and 4 we can solve it we press this shift and this button for summation you will see it let's enter our equation shift x squared open a parenthesis 3 shift x minus 6 and then close it has been closed now with the arrow go to the right it comes to the starting point 0 and then with the arrow go up it says so enter 4 and press equal and that's the result of the calculation and if you want to do the product to find the products of numbers for example x from 0 to 5 we can do the same way x squared because this is x squared this this x squared so x is 1 2 3 4 and 5 and it will do it for you by pressing alpha this red product and enter your formula for simplicity i'm using i'm using x and then squared with the arrow come to the right and here enter one and our upper bound limit is five and then go with the arrow top plus five and equal and that's the result of this calculation and if you want to do complex calculation we have to first agree on a complex notation in some schools or books it says 8 plus 5i in some books they put j and they put this j in front of 5 
So keep that in mind. To do that, we have to press mode and then go to uh, complex. We press two, and here we see the word complex. So we know we are in complex mode. To enter this value, we put eight plus, and then five. In this calculator, we are using I, and I is here. So you don't have to press anything. This engineering will be when you. So now I can press I, and if I press equal, I can see it, and if I press this button depending on the mode it converts it to real and imaginary in two lines and if you want to enter in vector form this is the magnitude this is 4 angle 36 in this case then press 4 and then shift angle and enter your value 36 because this is degrees pay attention it must be degree if it is not press shift setup go with d So it is now in degree and you press it, it automatically converts it to uh, the real and imaginary format like this, 3.2 and then arrow is here. You can go with an arrow or just press this uh, button. You will see the real and then imaginary part on the screen. Uh, full detail is in a separate video because it is very useful and it is well, it's, it's very useful and long. And here, if you want to get the argument of it, plus 5i argument is actually the angle extracting it so press shift and then shift and then complex number two and here we can get argument one and eight plus 5i and you can get the angle and if you want to get a conjugate of it the same way shift complex conjugate two and eight plus 5i and it just converts the sign for you. And if you want to get, for example, absolute value of three, we have ABS, press shift, ABS, absolute value of minus three, and it will be converted to three. Or if you have something in memory, let's say you have five plus six I, and then it is in complex, shift store A, and this is in A, we can get shift absolute value of recall a and it gives you the absolute value like that and verify is a feature that you evaluate a function to be equal to zero not equal to zero greater or equal greater smaller or equal and smaller and you can do that for example you want to evaluate if this is equal 12 so here we can do it using verify press mode and then go to the next line verify 2 and here we can enter 4 square root of 9 with a, and then with the arrow come to the right and press alpha and then equal and then 12 now it will tell you if it is true or false or let's say you want to find to verify log of 3 is smaller than log of 4 is smaller than log of 5 we get log of 3 close that and for verify we have another button here with which can be accessed six with shift so i'm pressing shift six and here i want to see if it is smaller i press four and then log of four close that shift six four and then log of five and then close it it will tell you if it is true or false exit by pressing this and one if you want to find greatest common divisor or gcd you do so for example to find gcd of 28 and 35 gcd will be accessed using the alpha alpha key and this gcd exit by pressing this and one alpha and then gcd we will enter 28 and then shift comma and then 35 close it and equal it will tell you the greatest common divisor and if you if you want to find least common multiple lcm the same way for lcm we press alpha and then this division alpha lcm nine shift comma 15 and then close it and that's the least common multiple if you want to generate some random number you can do so by pressing shift and then this rand 
and then we have random with the integer which should be next so shift random and then press equal it will give you something between 0 to 999 this is a random value and if you want to get an actual number multiplied by by thousand like this thousand and then shift random number every time you get a number if you want a two digit just make it by hundred and if you want one digit make it multiply by ten and here if you want a random integer then you can select a range from two to ten for example for that i'm using alpha and again the same this integer random integer alpha random integer two and then shift comma to 10 and then close it it will generate every time you press equal it changes now let's see how we can use this calc feature calc feature is to evaluate a formula for example you can have a and b you can you can put the value in the memory or you can do it directly to alpha a plus 4 square root of alpha b and if i press calc it says what is a and you can evaluate continuously let's say it is 6 and b is 25 and this is the answer and it will evaluate it for you and to use the solve feature this feature will allow you to find value of x in an equation if you have all the numbers you can find x and it makes it very handy first let's enter our equation like this for example this you can put any other equation that you have as long as this calculator can do it so put alpha y and then shift equal and then now we, we put alpha a and then alpha x squared plus alpha and then b now equation is here we must have equal sign this print shift solve and this time enter 125 a is 3 b is 4 and 5 solve for x yes press equal and it found that x is equal 6.35 and this value and lr mean left and right division it uses some iteration method and this zero means its exact value it is not deviating but if you see the number here the larger the number the less accurate the value the smaller the number the more accurate the result and if you want to do it again just press equal sign and it will ask you can put new values and to cancel just press all clear now let's see how we can do the base in calculation for binary decimal hexadecimal let's say you want to convert 10110 binary to decimal you have to be in base mode press mode base in press 4 and this is now in decimal we have decimal hexadecimal binary and octal because we want to work with binary press bin directly it will work and then enter the value 10110 and then press equal you must press equal so the value is here now you want it in decimal just press dec directly and it is 22 and if you want, if you want to convert 231 decimal we have to be in decimal we are you can go with binary octal by pressing these buttons so i'm going to decimal and then 231 231 and then press equal the value is here then you can press this binary to get binary and if you press any other button you get that value if you want to convert a 0 b 1 hex to decimal so first let's be in hex press the hex b button and then we press a 0 and then b and 1 press equal so the value is displayed here for alphabet for a up to f we use this row to decimal press dec and that's the value in decimal full detail of this will be in a separate video and to exit from this press mode 1 let's see how we can do the matrix calculation press setup and then select matrix number 6 and we are in matrix mode it, in this calculator we can store three matrix matrix a b and c and do the calculation and this screen might disappear i'm purposely disap making it disappear by pressing all clear and then we have a button here for matrix 
which you can press with shift so i'm pressing sh shift and this four so we can go to matrix options press shift matrix and here it says what is the dimension press one and it says which matrix we want to store this in matrix a press one and it says what is the dimension it is three row by three column so three by three i'm pressing one and here it asks for the value for seven four five i'm pressing seven and then equal four equal five equal and it moves to the next row now two three zero two equal three equal zero equal and then it goes to the next one eight one nine eight equal one equal nine equal after this press equal sign and you're done press all clear the values stored in the memory do not worry let's enter this one into b so we can do the calculation again shift four matrix so we can go to the uh, dimension one and then which matrix we have matrix b press two and dimension is three by three i'm pressing one and here minus one five twenty six minus one equal the value of in stored and now let's do add a plus b press shift matrix get the matrix a three now if i press equal i can see it like that but let's exit press shift matrix three matrix a plus shift matrix matrix b four exactly the same way just press equal and that is the result of adding matrix a to matrix b and now we have one more matrix called matrix answer the result of our previous calculation if i press shift matrix number four matrix answer is here by pressing six you can see it if i press equal you can see all the value but if i press bring it here and then multiply it by two this is just a scalar all the value will be scaled and here is the result of the calculation now if you want to get inverse of the matrix for example inverse of the matrix a press shift four bring matrix a three and then for inverse we press this button and press equal and this is the inverse of the matrix and here are the decimal value and if you want exact value 27 over 7 and move the cursor and see the values in each cell all clear if you want to find the determinant of a matrix for example the determinant of matrix a press shift matrix and and from here seven determinant and bring matrix a shift matrix a three close it determinant of, our, of a matrix is a number seven there will be a full video explaining everything with multiple examples exit from here press mode and then one and here let's do the integral calculation for integral we just evaluate this calculator cannot give you equation it will just give you a number only now we have a definite integral for example we want to evaluate it or find area under the curve of x squared dx from 1 to 2 and we will press this button here and then let's enter our equation alpha x and then squared with the arrow come to the right it goes to the lower bound 1 come to the right it goes to the upper bound 2 and then equal and that's the answer here and you see the occurring value is active so we can see it and if you want to evaluate a derivative for example a derivative at certain point if this is uh, the function of a motion of an object and you want to find the position so we have to get uh, the derivative and let's say you want to find the position at 2 so we get the derivative of dy over dx derivative of this and then plug in the 2 again the answer will be a number so I'm pressing shift and this button now this is for the d over dx of the function with a value 2x squared I'm pressing 2 alpha x squared and then minus 3 alpha x plus 2 and then with the arrow come to the right enter here 2 and that is evaluated the position of an object at 2 seconds is 5 if that was your equation and if you wanted 3 just press left arrow and go again and delete this 3 and if you want 4 the same way go back and evaluate it at 4 very handy 
full detail and example will be in a separate video. Now let's see for a statistic. We can give you simple examples, mode, and go to stat number three. And here, this is a single variable, linear, and we have multiple time of, for example, linear. This is an example, linear regression. You have quadratic regression, something like this. We have logarithmic regression, something like that, that you can see it all on the screen. And, and more, for example, let's say how we can do the data entry for linear regression. Let's enter this value. Now, first, because we want linear regression, on the screen, we can select 2 for re linear regression A plus BX. So I'm pressing 2. And here it says a value. The values are in pair. 170 plus equal. It goes down. It's all 170. So we have three values. We can go more if you want. Let's go. So we have three values for this example. Let's go to the one, come to the right and enter value for uh, y, 66. Let's say it is 66 and it is 66. And the value has been entered. You can get the, oh, you, we can now get so many, so much information about that. The value is already here, it's, SAT is showing. So we can access all the options by pressing shift and this statistic, this button number one. So I'm pressing shift and now it says what you want. If you want to see the data, press two, type to change some. Let's go for the var number four. And here, if you want number of values, the mean value and all other values, you can do so by pressing, for example, two. It will give you the mean value of the data that you have entered or you can go do the sum shift and here sum we can get sum of x square sum of x sum of y any of these let's say you want sum of uh, square of x one and equal and that's the sum of x square of x and if you want the regression press shift here and reg number five and you can select the values for regression, if you want R of the regression, A, B, and mm, all of this. Full detail of this will be in a separate video. And we can do also vector calculation for two and three space vectors. The same as matrix, we can have three vectors to be saved in the memory. For example, if you want to store uh, one and two into uh, vector A, first we have to go to the vector mode, press mode, and then vector number eight, now it asks you which vector you want to work. The same as before, you can press all clear. And then we have VET here, which can be accessed with shift. But I'm, I'm continuing with this vector A1. And it says, what is the dimension? 2. For 3 dimension, we press 1. For 2 dimension, press 2. And here, 1. And then press equal. It moves to the next line. I press this equal. And then 2 equal now it is saved i'm pressing all clear exit matrix b three and four shift and this time five for the vector and then go to one dimension matrix b two and then it's two by two and the value now three comma a space and then four space equal sign so i press equal after each press all clear and if you want to do vector A plus vector B, press shift 5, that's a vector, bring vector A, 3, plus shift 5, vector B, press 4. So vector A plus vector B, press equal, and that's the answer. So it's 4 and 6. You want, if you want to scale a, mate, a vector, let's say by 2, you can do 2, shift 5, matrix A, so 2 times that, and the value is scaled by 2 now. To edit a matrix, just press Shift 5, and then data, number 2, which matrix you want to work, matrix A, 1, and in here, let's say instead of 2, you can make it 8, and press equal, and it is saved. If you want to do dot product, 
for example vector a and b shift 5 for matrix a plus 3 and then shift 5 this time bring dot 7 that dot is there and then shift 5 bring matrix b so that's a dot product with equal and you get the number to replace the battery we just open these six screws and very easily you can remove the cover and here is the battery this is LR44 the battery is LR44 you can simply just pull it like that this is a thick type battery and the flat side will be up so you place your battery like that and to close it we simply put it back To access all my other videos related for this calculator, please check the link below the video in the description. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this Casio FX911 ES Plus second edition scientific calculator. If you learned something and found this tutorial useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And make sure to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos. Function and the area under the curve is this value the unit shift minus every time i refer to base i'm referring to number three here it says 